Hi guys, Christopher here, the artist behind A Art Adventure, and today we are going to be doing another character design from my Dungeons and Dragons group. If you like art or Dungeons and Dragons, why not think about giving me a like and subscribing? And I hope you enjoy this piece. So this character is not mine. It belongs to the player in our group, Sydney. And so thank you, Sydney, for letting me draw your character. And the character is Osiren. Uh, half-elf from the Elven Empire and Osiren is a super interesting and secretive character but firstly I'd like to talk a little bit about the art and then I'll get talking about Osiren. So this piece of art is being done in my Strathmore mixed media journal. Here's the finished piece by the way. Um, the cover rips off and you can have a lovely designed cover. I've put a sticker from the wonderful artist Miriam Tilson there. And I really struggled with the art for this because I didn't do thumbnails. So you probably saw that I tried to draw the hands like a half a dozen times or more. Um, and I also struggled a lot with the other hand, a little bit anyway, and drew Osiren with a quarter staff, one of his other weapons. And I also struggled to draw one of his feet for some time, which is really weird because I also, when we were playing Dungeons and Dragons on Saturday, I think I drew his foot okay here. It was one of the few things that I drew all right from this sketch, because I don't really like this sketch that much, but it gave me some ideas about the character. So this was done while we we're actually playing Dungeons and Dragons. And then the design that you're seeing on the screen, I worked on Sunday night the next day and I really struggled for so long with so many of the design elements I ended up looking up lots of different references I will put up the main one it's from Magic the Gathering a planeswalker called Soren Markov I think is his name he's a vampire planeswalker and I think it suits a siren well especially because a siren has platinum blonde hair and pale skin Although his skin looks quite grey and ashen, almost like a drow elf in this drawing because he's in the Underdark. If you don't remember my last video, I'll put the card up for where I draw my character, Yuri, and it talks a little bit about the campaign. But basically we are campaigning and adventuring in caverns below ground, so it's often very dark, especially when Yuri isn't using his light globe. So for this dark background, I've used some Daniel Smith paints. Totally forgotten what one. So sorry, I had to go check the background paint. I used Hematite Genuine. It's a Daniel Smith Primatech paint made of crushed minerals and it granulates so strongly. It's such a beautiful paint. It creates this really smoky atmospheric effect, which I think was just perfect for the Underdark and perfect for this character, Osiren. I'm painting him in a whole range of different watercolors, not just Daniel Smith, not just Primatech, but M. Gray and Holbein. I throw in color pencils and gold fine tech paints. I kind of throw everything at this. Luckily, this paper is mixed media paper, so it coped with it okay. To discuss Osiren, he is a warlock primarily, and he's just begun to learn some sorcery. He uses a magical white wand to cast a lot of his spells or to help cast a lot of his spells. And he dresses almost entirely in black and black leathers. That really worried me for this art piece because watercolors and black don't really go together. I haven't really done many pieces with blacks before. And so I tried to get creative with the blacks using that hematite genuine adding in purples and blues and muddy browns and toning down other colors or mixing Payne's gray with other colors to try to get a range of black so it wasn't just gonna be all flat. Uh, that was the last thing that I wanted. And fortunately, he does have little pops of red that he likes to sport. And I got a little bit creative with the costume design and added in some flowing fabric tassels, which didn't really turn out very well, but whatever. Um, and they have red runes on them. And of course, his casting with his wand 
a magical spell. In my mind, I think it would be the Eldritch Blast spell. He uses that a lot to slam away opponents. And I've done it in a, in a reddish color to match. So Osiren also has um, a necklace on that you might notice. And no one in the group knows what that means. It's uh, just a little pendant in a diamond form with an X on it. So I'm curious to find out what that is all about. Yuri especially loves um, secrets and figuring things out. So he'll probably be trying to learn as much of a siren over time as he can, including about that. And another huge secret of a siren has to do with the dagger that he's holding in his other hand. When we were campaigning through the caverns, we stumbled across our group, stumbled across this underground forest full of these weird lizard people. And eventually we went into this um, section of their community that led to a temple and it seemed to have a sacrificial altar at it. After some investigation and some shocking visions that Yuri and another character had, Osiren found a dagger near the altar and took it with him. Now, we were quite suspicious of that dagger, but there were reasons why we couldn't really talk about it and we had to flee very quickly. And so we kind of moved on. But a short time after that, we encountered this rundown town or shanty town with these shark-like people. And after a battle where Yuri decided at the end to kill one of them because of how they had threatened the group. Everyone was shocked and looking at Yuri and Osiren just strode over to another shark person and stabbed it with this dagger and sucked out their soul. So of course that was extremely shocking for everyone in the group. We don't really still understand what the connection fully is to this dagger. It seems to make Osiren more powerful it's a beautiful gold dagger with um, ornate design and these strange runes on it. It's clearly magical. It clearly has a strong influence on Osiren and we're all worried for him, but he's very reluctant to discuss it. When we finally pushed him to talk about it, it really became a difficult moment for the group. And so I think we'll be finding a little bit more about that as time goes on. At his feet, you probably also have noticed something unusual, a massive albino king cobra. No one in the group knows about this, but a siren has been working on the conjuring of a familiar spell. Maybe he's been jealous of Olivia Hooten John, my pet familiar. And he plans on creating a albino king cobra sometime soon. I drew it in actually because I didn't figure the composition very well for this piece. And so fortunately I could kind of work the piece right at the last minute to, to throw in the snake and make it kind of look like Osiren is balancing on it to get a better shot with his wand. Uh, or at least I hope it, it looks that way. Um, maybe he's restraining the King Cobra from going on the attack as well. I'm not quite sure. But I actually quite like how atmospheric it looks with that Cobra. It really adds a lot of drama and interest to the piece, in my opinion. It's maybe not executed the best because, again, I added it in after I'd already drawn him and inked him in. And so it was really quite difficult to, to figure out a way that it would unite with the piece quite well but I think I pulled it off okay considering that. And yeah, overall, I'm really happy with this character design. I hope Osiren or Sydney is as well. Um, the only thing that I'm not so happy with are the front cloths that kind of trail down his legs. They don't look very realistic and I think I'd just gotten a bit fed up with the, the sketching and re-sketching by that point from doing all those hands and feet curse you hands um, and so I finished things off by outlining with a color pencil and shading a little bit with a color pencil and doing outlines with a white gel pen and I I think it comes together 
pretty well in the end. I'm happy with it and I'm hoping that I'll be able to find some time to draw some other characters from my, my Dungeons and Dragons group. It seemed like some viewers were interested in it. If you are one of those people, I would love for you to hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell so you'll always get notified when I make new videos, including these character design videos. And of course, my favorite thing, as always, is to hear from you in the comments. So what do you think of Osiren the Warlock? And are you a fan of someone who has secrets and is a little bit evilish? He's actually, the alignment is true neutral, but for some reason I I feel that he's quite a dark character. Probably because he's had a lot to do with the Archdevil Mephistopheles as well throughout our journeys. That's a whole nother story for another time though. And so I'll say goodbye now and let you watch the rest of this speed paint and give me a like. See you guys.